This staggering picture from the James Webb Space Telescope uncovers how a nearby planet group could resemble our solar system 4.5 billion years ago back when the Sun was all the while getting a hold of itself in a cloud of gas. This detailed image of the cloudy area surrounding the young protostar L1527 was recently captured by Webb's NIRCAM instrument. L1527 is not yet a star, as it is only about 100,000 years old, it hasn't completely formed a stable sphere and hasn't added enough mass to start nuclear fusion and release its energy. According to the European Space Agency, it is more like a small, hot, and puffy clump of gas, somewhere between 20% and 40% the mass of our Sun. However, the young protostar is off to an ambitious start, as the most recent web photos show. What's up? At the neck of the hourglass-like shape depicted in the photograph, the protostar itself is concealed behind a thick wall of clouds. However, a dark line can be seen running along the narrow neck if you look closely. That's a sight on view of the protoplanetary disk, a ring of gas and dust that will eventually form a system of exoplanets around the young star. In other words, the protostar's growing infrared energy, or heat, illuminates the soaring molecular clouds that are fueling its growth from above and below the disk. Because they block light at wavelengths we can see, the dense clouds of gas, mostly molecular hydrogen, surrounding L1527 would be invisible to our naked eyes. However, Webb's infrared instruments can observe these clouds in great depth. The protostar blasts some material outward as it grows, creating cavities in the clouds around it and sending shock waves along hydrogen filaments. One of the most crucial aspects of Webb's science mission is star formation. Pictures like this one and the information that created it, will assist cosmologists with understanding the circumstances under which new stars structure and how their development shapes the subatomic mists around them in manners that either empower or keep different stars from getting a beginning. What comes next? L1527's gravity will pull more gas from the clouds around it over the next few hundred thousand years. The gas will spiral inward until it becomes a part of the protostar. The protostar will be pulled into a neatly spherical shape by the additional gravity of that new material. Furthermore, all that mass will eventually cause the core's heat and pressure to rise to the point where hydrogen atoms will fuse into helium. Then a brand new star will emerge. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comment section. And if you enjoy our content, and never want to miss a video, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching.